everybody. We're back with John Oliver. Let's talk about the lockdown over in England. Um, uh, Europe had a rough go of it in the spring, in early summer. There were there were lockdowns all over there. Y'all came out of it, or not y'all, because y'all's is us now. But uh, the people you used to belong to uh, over there, they came out of it, had a pretty good summer, and now a serious surge of cases yeah. over there and another lockdown. Back when we were in lockdown and y'all were in lockdown or England was in lockdown, we were kind of in similar boats. Since then, this massive anti-science push has happened mm -hmm. in the United States. Do the people back in the UK pay attention to the scientists? Is there I mean, resistance? Is there resistance, I guess is what I'm saying. I think that, I think that, I don't think there's resistance to the science. I think there's resistance to how, uh, uh, to how it's being handled in the UK. I think there is frustration that uh, people are being asked to do something uh, very difficult by people they do not trust. But I don't think that extends into doubting the science here. And, and again, so there's no, but there's nobody like the, the, like Boris Johnson never says scientists don't know. I mean, it's look, Boris Johnson is a flawed human being whenever he opens his mouth. So I, I don't think I don't think Boris Johnson has earned the right to uh, authority on anything he talks about. But nothing is as bad as here. This is I mean, that's the thing that's hard to it's like, like with the lines for voting. Yet there is incre intense frustration at how things uh, the government in the UK uh, has handled uh, the coronavirus. But they know it's nothing like what's happening here. There is still in the UK a sense of, well, there might need to be a collective effort to not uh, overburden the NHS, which people are very protective of. I wish that that was the case here. I wish there was an understanding of what we may be about to put hospital workers through again. But I don't see it. They're telling me that I'm supposed to rap, but I'm not going to. And I'll tell you why is that yeah. I need to talk about an honor you recently received that oh, I am right. very jealous of. And I will tell you yeah. why in just a moment. But okay. uh, yeah. the setup to this this little question is 2020 has been a crappy year, but it's literally been a crappy year for you because the town of Danbury, Connecticut That's right. named a sewage treatment plant yeah. after you. Um, is this... Do you do you what are, do you have any duties if you pardon the expression? As as uh, this is no, named I after, I don't, I don't pardon it. Comedically, I do not pardon that expression. Okay, okay. That, was, uh, that, that, right. that felt avoidable. I, the first part it you wasn't, read though. out, it wasn't. That, that came voluntarily it was not. Out of it was not avoidable at all. It caught me by surprise. Then I had to deal with it. You understand? I'm as much as a victim here as you are, and I do it not appreciate well. the hostility, frankly. And I'm, I'm here just trying to celebrate the fact that you got a factory named after you and you're like, oh, no duty jokes, oh, no duty jokes about my <laughs> factory. It is such a joy being with someone who's exactly at the same level of punchiness as I am right now. Although I will say I'm I'm very glad that I don't have to do an hour plus live show tomorrow. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Oh, and you're you did sued. it four years ago. Like I did do it four years ago. Out into a bus, he thought, "Get me another motorbike. I'm going again." Ah, uh, th well, this is tomorrow night's merely episode two of a two-part series. Tomorrow, to <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow was. Let, let, we're to, we're going to start the whole thing with previously on American Democracy, and then just have a now the exciting conclusion of American Democracy. Tomorrow wow. night, all the same guests are coming back. Literally, we invited all the same people back for tomorrow night. Wow. The it's... string quartet on the Titanic are coming back for an encore. But hold on, you got you got, you got you got a sewage treatment plant yes. named after yes. you. That is not that's yeah, nothing to sneeze at. No, it's it's absolutely amazing. And and you know what was actually genuinely inspirational about it was it was uh, one of our writers owen we were doing a very difficult piece about uh jury selection he writes a joke about danbury without really thinking about it just kind sure. of picked the name out of the air and turns out right you come for danbury you better not miss because sure. they started sure. coming back at us saying okay well we're going to name this to this plant there's a whole back and forth and there's always a nervousness when you when you're participating in a joke that you can't control especially with 
elected officials. You think you're sure. like, you're going to ruin this. Sure. Like, this could be really funny. You're going to ruin it. And they never ruined it. They sent me, not only did they, I've got the official paperwork here. This is it. That's fantastic. Order. But and I like this. Alongside that, look at this. <laughs> you sent me a toilet. Well, but they also, this is my favorite part is, if you look up here, Jim, it's oh, memorial. Yeah. It's memorial. <laughs> yes. yes, that's a legitimately great joke. That's their, that was their idea. I'm not dead yet. Inside, I, I obviously I we've all been dead for years. I, Does that mean that when you die, they can actually just drop your body right in there with the sewage and just cycle you through, get the water out of you, like 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 you're on Dune? <laughs> last night airs last week tonight, or well, I don't know what the name of the show is. You it watch it. it Air Sundays on HBO. Look it up. John Oliver, everybody. We'll be right back with Cher. Now that's a guest. That's a that's, that's a guest. That's right a there. guest. That's it.